YouTube, 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 what's up, baby? We back in here again with another review. This is Q's Insight. I am Cali, and today we're going to be reviewing another old movie. We're going to continue and finish out the trilogy, baby. I'm talking about Blade 3. Let's go. So, of course, talked about Blade 1, Blade 2. Gave my grades, opinion, everything like that. So, if you guys already seen the video, you know you know where I'm at with it. So, Blade 3, man. Um, <sighs> no, I was playing Blade 3. So, it came out in 2004, right? Um, being that I'm such a, 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 a Blade fan and being that I'm a fan of this franchise, there was pretty much nothing that they can do to make me have feelings of not liking it, you know? You had a good a good uh, start off. You had a good continuation. If your third one falls off a little bit, so be it. You know what I'm saying? You 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 get a chance. You know what I'm saying? You 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 didn't you didn't fail for the first two movies. So why would I act like just because the third one comes out and it's a little bit less than the second and the first one? Why would I just automatically turn on the franchise or the character? You know. But anyway, this movie came out in 2004. Um, I can't even remember if I saw it in the theaters or if I just saw it when it came out the DVD. Um, but unfortunately for, for certain people, um, they, they don't like this movie. They don't, they, they think that this movie was a waste of time, you know, and whatever it may be for me, I like the movie. Um, is it as good as number one or two? No, it's not, but it wasn't bad. You know, the fighting was still there and you know, the CGI, of course, is getting better still. Um, and most importantly, you have, you still have Wesley Snipes as Blade. You know, that that's that to me is really all that matters, you know. Um, but I will say that the story could have been better. They've been more creative. Um, you know, certain characters could have could have been done better, whatever it may be. Right. But that's that's really it. That's really it. I think this movie had a lot of problems just because of the fact of at this point in time of the franchise um, for this movie, um, Wesley Snipes was not getting it along with the director or the producer, whatever it may be. And there was actually like a fight on, on, you know, on set, whatever, between him and the producer or the director. I forgot which one. So, you know, and it was about the way that the Blade character was um, portrayed and, 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 and what he wanted and everything like that. And, you know, as a director, as a, as a producer, I understand you have power, but you also got to understand that a lot of that power that you, that you, that you earn over the time is through Blade, through Wesley Snipes. So if Wesley Snipes want to do something a little different, you do it. This is the end of the franchise, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe you go on to do spinoffs, whatever. But as far as we know it at that point, this is the end of the franchise. You do whatever you got to do to please this man, to, to make him feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? If he wants to um, kill every person in, in, in the vampire world, so be it. You know what I'm saying? You make sure that he is happy and that he gets what he wants. Because Blade 1 and Blade 2, you got what you wanted. Now... You return a favor and get him what he wants. He is the star. He is the he is the motion in the ocean. And without him, you have you don't have anything at that point in time. You know what I'm saying? Yes, we got a new blade coming out with uh Marsha Ali and all stuff like that. But even even still, I don't I don't want him to be blade. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it, but I don't want him to be blade. I'd rather be Wesley Snipes. But you know, back then when Wesley Snipes was was, you know, still young and you try to replace him, nah, that 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 wasn't gonna fly. That that was not gonna fly. So, I I I do wish there wasn't so much turmoil on the set between, you know, per se the actors and 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 the producers and the directors stuff like that. But there was, um. But like I said, for me, I I still enjoyed the movie. Um, you know, it it just. It was, it was, 
it was fairly good to me. I, I can I can still rewatch rewatch it to this day, and you know, I have no problem with it. You know, um, but I understand you know the frustration and 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 the dislike that it got um, because it was supposed to be a little different. But it is what it is, and we got what we got, and I'm happy with it. So that that's me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, it's an old movie still, but I'm still not gonna spoil everything, of course. Um, just kind of give you the plot, the premise of the movie. Um, tell you some of my favorite scenes. Um, and after I'm done with my full opinion of everything, I'll give you the grade. And, you know, we'll see you next time, right? <laughs> but, so, Blade Trinity, right? Um, we get Hannibal King in here, which is played by Ryan Reynolds. And we get Abigail Whistler, which is Whistler's daughter, um, Played by Jessica Bill. Um, you also got Triple H in here. Um, I think it says Jarko Grimwood, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and you know, you 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 pretty much have um, Blade being surrounded by new characters. Uh. Um, you know, Whistler's still in here for a second. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you, you pretty much have Blade surrounded by new characters. So that's, that's, that's really, that's really what it is at the end of the day. Um, so for this story, oh, I will say it, it was, it was nice having Ryan Reynolds in here and Jessica Bill and, and it, 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 it kind of gave it a, it gave it a new feeling, you know what I'm saying? We, we we never really had Blade being able to... He's always, he's always had people help him out like Whistler right here and there. Or he's had people to create stuff like Scud on, on, on Blade 2. But he's never had a, a, um, a, a team to run with. And a team that, you know, was able to handle their own, you know what I'm saying? Not like Blade, but still able to handle their own. And so that, that was a cool... Like different premise, you know what I'm saying to see. Like I, 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 I did like that. I did like that. Um, I thought the 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 um, the chemistry between the people, uh, Ryan Reynolds, Jessica Bill, and and Wesley Snipes. I thought uh, I thought they did fairly well. You know what I'm saying. I, I would have definitely liked to see another run of this, and 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 you know everybody works together and and, and it's on the same page with stuff. I think they could have definitely got something good, you know, out of it. Um, I will say, bro, I I heard a long time ago that they was actually going to take Selena Kyle, I think. No, take whatever. Her name is Selena in uh, Underworld and and team her up with Blade, bro. Oh, man, I'm so disappointed that that did not happen. Like, that would have been great. Whether it just they fought against vampires or vampires and werewolves or just werewolves or whatever, bro, like that. That would have been awesome, man. That would have been Imagine if they had a kid together. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Why? <laughs> but anyways, man. So, the premise of this movie is... Blade ends up losing... Him. Blade ends up losing Whistler. He ends up finding Whistler's daughter and her partner, uh, Hannibal King. And... They run a division themselves and, you know, they're vampire hunters as well. Now, you have another set of like a, you could say like another blood pack, like how they were in number two, like the the, the, the unit that was created to kill Blade. Um, there's like another unit like that, right? And it's Triple H and it's uh, Danica Talos and um, uh, um, um, Asher Talos Um you know what I'm saying? Just 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 a few people, right? And they're vampires, or whatever. So their whole thing is like, you know, we're we 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 can't be blade. You know what I'm saying? We can't be blade. And we need to have somebody on our side that is just as strong that gives us a, a, a chance to really do it. And so there's the legend of Dracula, right? The very first vampire. And we all know who Dracula is, even without this movie. You know what I'm saying? We all know who Dracula is. So their whole thing is that they go to where Dracula was buried and they reawake him. And comes back to life. 
and um, he ends up helping them to try to destroy Blade, you know, and try to. Um, I don't I don't know if they if they wanted to take over the world if they wanted to still like you know. Actually, I think I think that regardless of whatever they wanted to do, if Dracula had successfully defeated Blade. There's this scene in the movie where he kind of feels sick of humanity. Um, Dracula does because the mockery of stuff and 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 his his image, his name and stuff like that. And um, he's not he's not too pleased about that. So I don't know if if he had defeated Blade and the you know uh, Hannibal King and Abigail. I don't know if he would have just kept living in the world the way that it was going, where in which, you know, vampires and humans side by side, even though vampires still pretty much rule because humans are their cattle pretty much. Or if he would have just kind of ruled with an iron fist the way that, um, the way that, um, um, uh, the way that, um, Uh, Stephen Dorf character, Stephen Dorf's character wanted to in in the first Blade. Um, so you know, it just. I guess I guess we'll never know, right? Um. But yeah, so you know, you got a new blood uh, pack. They 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 a new blood pack group. They want to even the odds against Blade and his team, so they wake Dracula, and that's what you that's what you get at the end. You have Dracula versus Blade. Um, Blade Squad versus uh, Dracula Squad, and you know who whoever's the better man is gonna win, right? So that's that's basically the premise of the movie. Um, I will say that, like I said, I I, I definitely enjoyed this movie. It could have been better. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna uh, front too much. You know, it could have definitely been better. But like I said, the fighting was there and it was good. Um, pretty much throughout the whole movie. And it was cool to see, you know, um, a cast of fighters around Blade that can hold their own, you know. And number two, he he had the blood pack, but that they were made to kill him. You know what I'm saying? At least with these, with uh, you know, Abigail and, and Hannibal, you know, they're 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 vampire uh, uh, hunters. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, you know that's that that. I, I I thought the movie was fairly good. Uh, like I said fighting was there, acting was there. Love Wesley Snipes, of course. Love Hannibal uh, King, which is Ryan Reynolds. I love uh, uh, Abigail Whistler, which is Jessica Bill. Um, so you know, it, it, and and even the guy that played Dracula, he was pretty cool, man. Um, and and I and I and I like the different forms that Dracula takes. You know, he he's got his human form and then he's got his like human slash vampire form and then he's got a real like monstrous like demon like type form so that was that was cool that he had like three forms or whatever um and he was strong you know he was he was just pretty much the strongest blade you know um but for me uh one of my favorite scenes in this movie um and it may it may go out of order but one of my favorite scenes in this movie was uh, you know, Triple H, uh, his character versus Ryan Reynolds character, um, kind of towards the end and how, uh, Ryan Reynolds ends up defeating Triple H. That was, that was a pretty dope, uh, scene right there. Um, also the, uh, the scene, um, pretty much at the end, like the, the, the last fight between Dracula and, uh, Blade, it was pretty nice. It was, it's weird. It's like, I feel like that fighting scene was probably stronger than the ending fighting scene on number one between, um, Blade and, uh, and, um, and Frost. Um, but it wasn't as strong as the ending scene against um or it wasn't as strong as the ending scene in, in Blade 2 
I, when Blade took went against the uh, went against Nomac. Um, so again, uh, I thought the Dracula and Blade fight was better than the fight between Blade and Frost, but I didn't think the Dracula and Blade fight was better than the Nomac and Blade fight. So. But like I said, yeah, that 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 whole ending, that everything that happened, man, it, that it was a cool scene right there. Um, and then my last scene, um, <laughs> it had nothing to do with fighting, but it was when uh, Dracula was kind of walking, uh, you know, amongst the humans, and he goes into like this little, um, like Halloween type of shop, right? And you know, he's seeing uh, in the Count Chocola and stuff like that. And there's this girl working in there and this other, like, guy. And they're, like, emo, emo, emo kids or whatever. Emo adults, whatever you want to say. And um, <laughs> one thing leads to another. And the, the emo kid is, like, kind of, you know, giving Dracula some crap. And uh, let's just say Dracula ain't happening. So he... Ends up taking out him. He ends up taking out the girl, and I just it just it just was funny to me. It was funny to me. So I I, <laughs> I like that scene. It's something that I always remember when I think about this movie. Um, but yeah, man. And then uh, as far as the grade goes for this, for me, um, I give it I gave it a seven point five, seven point five. So it, it's definitely worth watching if you're a Blade fan. It's definitely worth watching if if um, you're a Wesley Snipes fan. It's definitely worth watching if you're a vampire fan. So, um, like I said, out of the series, it's not it's not the strongest one, but it's still not bad, you know. Um, but if you guys seen the movie, let me know what you guys thought about the movie. Um, let me know what you guys if you guys liked it. Um, how do you compare between the other two to this one? Um, and uh, you know, just share that in the comments down below if you will. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. This is Q's Insight. I am Callie, and until next time.